What's up, everybody? Welcome back to QNL University here on my Patreon for another tutorial. I, first and foremost, I just want to say that I hope that you guys have been loving it so far. This has definitely been like the best that I have ever felt about my Patreon and these tutorials and my VIP club as a whole. And I'm just, I'm super excited. I'm, I'm happy that we're starting this year off strong. You know what I mean? And I really, really encourage you guys, any time that I post something, whether it be a text or whether it be a video, picture, whatever, you know, I, I really encourage you guys to comment below because I really, you know, I get a lot of comments everywhere on my social pages, but I definitely take the VIP club comments very, very seriously. I look at each and every one of them and, you know, I want to reply and I want to interact because this is what this place is for. It's for interaction. I want you guys to feel close to me. I want you guys to really feel, all in all, I want you guys to feel special. You know what I'm saying? So comment below. Let me know what you guys want to see. Message me if you guys need to. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, pause. If you're watching this on YouTube, you guys don't get quite the benefits that the VIP club does, but hey, you know, we are tending to both audiences, whatever floats your boat, whether it be YouTube or Patreon, that's just what it is. And we are, we are taking care of all of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Best way that we can. So if you're watching this on YouTube, this is just a YouTube short. So I am so excited to teach you guys. This is all about me by Maya. This honestly probably is one of those underrated combos. Like I be running into people and they're just like, my favorite combo of yours is all about me by Maya. And it probably is because it takes you back to the nineties. It takes you back. It takes you back to when music was just different, when it just felt so good, you know, and that the, this class was just one of those classes where I'm just like, I want to do a throwback. I don't want to do any of these songs. We are going to take it back. So that's what we're going to do today. So again, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, welcome to a tutorial short where I teach you guys the beginning of a combination. If you guys are here on my Patreon, QNL University, uh, you guys are getting the full entire thing. Uh, yeah. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So as most of you guys know, this combo is very like sensual, very slow, sexy. I want you guys to embody that as be the best way that you can. So, you know, your outfit really matters. Whatever it is that you're wearing, you know, if you guys are at home and you guys are just in sweats, t-shirt, I mean, that's fine. That's, that's fine and everything, but it might take you just a little bit more energy for you to tap into that zone, tap into that that sex appeal. So that is the reason why I'm wearing just, you know, comfortable tank top and I put on my QNL apparel skirt because I like when, I like when it goes up, you know what I'm saying? Because you feel like you're gonna see some, but it's just, you know, cute little spankies. But either way, it puts me into that sexy zone. So you guys wanna think about that. If you're not gonna change or if you're comfortable the way that you are, absolutely fine. You're just gonna have to do more to tap in. You know what I mean? So that's that. And make sure you have some space because we're going to be on the floor today. So, I mean, I'm going to have to. And then also, I want you guys to actually stretch because my legs from my workouts are just not in the best shape. <laughs> and, you know, you want to make sure that you're nice and loose. So be sure before you carry on with this video, be sure to just stretch, you know, make sure you're nice, loosened up. And then let's get started. So I'm gonna stretch a little bit. I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna do this one. Mm. Oh God, my trainer kicked my ass today. All right, so the choreography is gonna start with us on the floor. It's gonna start with us on the floor and we're gonna hold. This is called what we, this is what we like to call like a mermaid position. Act like, I want both of your feet, whether you're wearing heels or not, I want your feet to be pointed number one and I want them to be stuck together. I don't want this. I don't want like a scissors. I want a tail, a nice mermaid tail, okay? We're gonna hold the beginning of the song and it's gonna go an eight one 
On eight one, that's when our first move comes. So we hold. I want your left hand to just be placed right here, um, you know, in between, just right here in this little in this little pocket on your hip, and you're just holding. You're just holding. Practice just doing nothing. Practice just just really, you know connecting with your viewer, connecting with your audience, connecting with the camera, not doing anything so that this first move is a surprise. So when I go five, six, seven, I want eight, one. Ooh, we start off with a bang, bitch. We start off with a pike. I really started you guys off with a pike right now. Yes, a pike. So we are literally tightening up these muscles and I want you to pull your feet in so we're in this position. All of our weight is on these forearms. Pray for the forearms child to keep you up. Only here for a second, okay? This is eight, one, two. On two, you're going to release your legs out so you should be, you should be, your stomach on the floor as you give me a nice, slow head whip on two, okay? Two, hold three, we go up four, okay? We're gonna head whip, we're gonna head whip towards the front of the room, towards your front. You're gonna do a left head whip. As this left leg extends out nice and pretty, this right leg is gonna be bent under that left leg as you offer your hand for someone to kiss it as you come up from that floor, okay? This is a eight, one, hold, two, hold, three, four. So all of what I just explained needs to go on four. We're gonna get to the counts in a second, but let me just, let's just walk through, let me just show you everything that you're about to do. Four, five, six, Extending your leg on six to meet your left, to go seven, eight. Ooh, that's a little different. That is very, very different. So this is that little trick that we do in the beginning where both of our legs are, so make, so let's get to this position, right? So the, our legs are extended. What I want us to do is I want us to, I want you to pick up, try to pick up your body with both of these hands right here. Pick it up. I want th both of those feet to swivel, swivel towards the front, swivel towards the front of the room, right? And you're picking yourself up with your hands so that they can sweep under your butt. Now, as soon as they pass your butt, you are going to extend that left leg towards the back and you are going to keep swiveling that right leg, go towards the front. So you should now be in a right middle, I mean, I'm sorry, a right split. A right split. Does that make sense? So let me show you, let me show you towards the back. I'm gonna face the back, act like my portrait of me and my husband is the front, okay? This is gonna be my front, just so you see what it looks like. Thank <laughs> you.